up guys, it's Santa Colby. Today we are reacting to the scariest ghost adventures moments, AKA literally the most famous paranormal TV show. Let's get it. I'm about to open up a haunted museum. First one is actually Zach Bagan's haunted museum. I don't even want to think about last time we were there. Bro, one of if not the most scared moment of my life. This place scarred our friends so bad that they still talk about it to this day. A few weeks ago, Three of my construction workers quit on the spot. They literally threw down their tools and ran out of this building because of disturbing paranormal experiences that happened to them right here. Whoa! We can vouch this place is actually terrifying. No, this place was definitely top three. We're inside my museum in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I hit the ground hard. Lord, Why? Really Wait, he actually did a front flip. What the oh, fuck? Oh yeah, he somersaulted. I flipped over the chair. What? Was that just him hitting the deck or did a ghost tabletop him? It's just like, I swear guys, it was paranormal. I spring back into action and begin focusing on the hot spot near the stairs. I want to now turn on the spirit microphone, also known as the spirit box. This good Aaron, one. Aaron asks the dolls if they will play with us. Ooh. One of the scariest rooms in there. I place the spirit box up to a vintage doll that I had to literally remove from my house. Oh, direct. What is possessing you? Drop it, drop it. That doll's eyes look like Pennywise. It's completely cracked out. I will now place the doll in the basement. I also set REM pods around the doll and leave the spirit box on. We all return to nerve center to observe the doll. Then I have Billy go back down to adjust an infrared light. <laughs> Poor Billy. <laughs> then I had Billy go do that shit. <laughs> go down in the goddamn basement alone, Billy. <laughs> He's like, no! At which time the doll seems to change its voice to a little girl and speaks directly to him. As Billy enters the basement, the doll says, hello there. And at the same exact moment, two of the REM pods begin lighting up. That's a good idea to have like that many around. Signifying a change in the electromagnetic energy around the doll. Wow. Wait, that's really good evidence. Hello there, as soon as he walks in, then boom, all at the same time. Yeah. That's like three things working at once, proving. We've never tried two REM pods at mm -hmm. the same time, so we don't know if just one's being janky or not. Like, maybe we should do multiple. Yo, that's a great idea. But just knowing about what happened to us when we were there and how Stas literally got her hair pulled down there, I believe it. Something evil is, lurks in this basement. Seriously. Number two, revisiting the was ho club. We was all hoes at one point. Old Wash Ho Club! All the hoes of Wash come the there! Show Club needs no introduction. This is our third investigation here. Damn, we've never been. On that trip, we were joined by investigators Mark and Debbie Constantino, who were intimately connected to the Washoe. The memory of their passing makes this investigation all the more emotional. Mark and Debbie, if you're here, this is your chance. I know you love this place. The first time I came here, you guys were here with me. Holy shit, is he like breaking down right now? We miss you both, we're our dear friends. See, that's one thing I feel like paranormal investigators don't talk about that often. A lot of this stuff deeply can relate and affect like a religion and your after life beliefs and stuff like that. So when you do come in contact with your equipment of loved ones or people that you knew in your life, it gets very real very fast. Yeah, we've had friends of ours contact old loved ones on our trips and it's like really impactful. I remember when we first started doing this, this like brought me to tears many times. Cause even if you don't believe anything and then you start learning that, oh wait, this shit is real. This place is like a roller coaster. Yeah. What was that? that? Did like a penny chucked yeah, at him? Like, it sounds like a change. Like nail or something. Oh, it was a quarter. That is. Someone threw a quarter? It's a nice pristine yeah, quarter. I'll keep that shit. Quarter. Quarter. Look at those freaking nice nails. He's those got. are <laughs> some great <laughs> nails. Good <laughs> quick manicure. Hey, James. 2015. Shut up. That's sort of good, right? The date was the date that they died. Oh! Oh my God, the people that he was just crying about, they died in 2015. That was the quarter date. Damn! So the ghost was just like, yo, bitch, I'm here. Bitch. Yeah. Communicate. What'd that just say? Like it was trying to tell them something. Communicate. Oh my God. What, what? Device is this? That 
That's sick. We need to get that device. I've what is that? I've never seen that before. Oh. He's reading this. It says communicate. Who was this a message to? You. Did that? You. Dang. Dang. Yo, this is back and forth. It's actually giving me chills. Who is this a message from? That's how we freak out in our YouTube videos, yeah. okay? Okay, I'm glad, you know, Zach's like, what, 40 and he's still running around doing what we're he doing. understand. It's scary in the moment, guys. My obsession and fascination with that place is not what it was, because now I realize what that is. Spirits are able to influence your thoughts. Or <laughs> to do whatever they want whether it's go back to a place so that they can be with you or possess you or i mean a lot of things what <laughs> let me describe your situation no way. we have to go there dude if this video gets fifty thousand likes we'll make sure Waso club is on our next trip is that the Waso dance that's the Waso <laughs> dance subscribe dance yeah. subscribe something's not right we all feel fear. Wait, we've been here too! Goldman's Bridge! And as I walk over the bridge, Billy follows me and something very bizarre happens. So apparently there's like an eight to 11 foot tall goat demon man that haunts this bridge of woods. Be safe, Zach. This is a safe area. Well, we did a seance right there too. Right underneath the bridge with fire. Oh my God, you guys. Wait! Our candles were going out the entire time. All of them went off underneath the bridge. Well, that must be a thing. Like the Goatman's Bridge blows out fires. I guess so. You all right? Oh, <sighs> hit me. I hate that bridge, dude. It's scary. Mm -hmm. No. Whoa, dude. I'm sorry. What? Is he getting a possessed or something? Hit me, hit me, bro. See, look, this is where I was. Right here. We also see an area about 20 feet away in the dirt where he landed. Something unseen picked Aaron up and threw him this distance. There's no way this man flew 20 feet. There's no fucking way. You'd be knocked out on the ground. I'm bleeding everywhere, dude. I can feel blood just gushing out of me. Maybe Bro. it's a confusion thing, but there's no way that you would just have a scratch on your like arm by going 20 feet. Probably it was like two feet. It felt like this black mass. Just hit me. Did the black mass have horns and look like a goat? This is also the exact same spot where earlier we captured the glowing eyes that had no body. There was eyes! Oh my god, there, there was! There was so many eyes. Holy shit. Wait, the that's crazy. There was something that lurks in these woods. Is it a giant goat man? I don't know! Something scary though. They've had some scary ass things happen to them. A lot of similar things to us too. But we've always looked up to people like Ghost Adventures because they are literally the OG paranormal investigators. And so it's really cool just to see how we are in like relation to them. Yeah, they have a lot of places we want to go to and they use a lot of equipment that we probably should too. Ooh.